Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another firmware update. Today, we're going to update my GE Tech A10T. So let's get cracking. Friends, the place I always start is my website. There is a 3D printers tab, and on this, there is a place to visit the Marlin GitHub. When you visit Marlin, we need two files. First, we're going to go into the Marlin folder. I always like to use bug fix 2.1. You could change to something else if you wanted. And we need to download the latest zip. I'm going to store mine in my downloads folder. And then because I know I'm going to use this for the A10T, I'm going to change the name. So I'm going to just type A10T and hit save. That way when it unzips, it'll be real clear which one I've got. At this point, we need to configure it for the special printer. At this point, we need to configure it for the printer we're working with. So I'm going to go back to the Marlin tab, scroll down, and I'm going to find the configurations. I am going to make sure I have the correct version. Remember, I was using bug fix 2.1, so I've got a switch, so I've got the exact one. Once I've made that switch, I can click download, and I'm going to grab the zip. Now, I'm going to put this in my downloads as well. You can see it's got a one after it. That's because I did this a week ago. I'm just going to keep the one, so that way I can keep track of what the newest version of the configurations is. Now, before we go any further, you need to check your board info. Find out which one you've got. I have got the 3.x, so now I'm ready to roll on. With that done, I am going to open up that configurations by clicking show in folder. I'm going to right click and I'm going to use 7-zip and I'm going to extract them here. They make their own folder. Notice it's saying it's already there. I'm going to say yes to all for replace. Bingo, that's done. Let's use 7-zip to extract this as well. I'm going to choose the special A10T folder so that way I keep my configuration separate for each printer I flash. With those unzipped, we need to now find the configuration that fits our 3D printer. Now, I'm teaching you about the A10T today. If you're doing a different model, you just grab a different configuration. So here is my configurations folder. These are the configs. These are the examples. We need to find our printer. Notice there are hundreds of printers to pick from. We want the GE Tech. I'm going to find those. I want the A10T. Look how many printers you can pick from. They are all here. So I'm going to go to the A10T. There are two different LCDs. I know mine is the old one, so I'm going to go with the stock. If yours is the newer one, then you need that. So I'm going to grab those. I'm going to do copy. Then we're going to go back to the downloads folder. I'm going to go into that A10T folder. Enter Marlin. Enter Marlin. And then we need to delete these two. Bingo, they're gone. Right click paste. The ones that match the A10T are now included. Friends, at this point, we head to Visual Studio Code. You can type VSC. As you can see, I've used it lately, so it's right there. When it launches, I have found that you almost always have to let it update. So I'm going to be watching down here for updates. I was also in the middle of another project, so I'm going to close that. If we click right here on File, you can see down here I can choose Close Folder, and it cancels that one out. So with my old project gone, we're going to do File, and we're going to open a new folder. When we open this, remember we did it in the downloads. There's the A10T where we stored those pieces. We're going to open the Marlin folder and we're going to stop right here. Do not go in Marlin. Just hit select folder and then wait patiently as all the little pieces start to load. You can see it's bumping between auto build Marlin. It's got all the different clicks. Give it time. Let it rebuild. Give it a moment. You may even end up having to reboot. It happens to me a lot. When you get in here, though, it'll show you that Config H and Config Advanced. Now, when you go down here, you can double check which one you got. So here we can prove that I did the A10T conversion. I'm going to scroll down here just a little bit, and I want to make one adjustment. Down here, we're making sure it's got the V3 motherboard because that's what mine has. And we're going to go over here to the machine name. I want this to be called HLMT A10T, and then I'm going to put a 22 out here 
because that's when I changed it. This was the 22 update. I've been running the 21 update for a year. And friends, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't update firmware a lot. If the printer's working fine, leave it alone. And you're always assuming risk when you do these firmware updates. But I'm showing you now because I want you to see just how easy this can be. Now, if you've modded your printer at all, you're going to have to double check all these settings. I keep mine stock, so that's the only thing I'm going to adjust. Right now, I'm simply going to return to Auto Build Marlin, and I'm just going to hit Build. Let's see if this works the first time. A lot of times I have to run it twice, but as you can see, since I just updated everything last week, it's looking like it's going to be successful and you just need to wait for it to do its thing. Friends, that took 37 seconds on my PC, but I used some video editing to speed it up. All right, friends, right here, I want to stress again, you want to know your board. I know mine is the version 3. I've got it turned on, plugged in. So all I need to do at this point is hit upload. So all I need to do is hit upload. And friends, let's send that to the 3D printer. So in real time, if you stand there and watch, there is absolutely nothing happening on the screen. But you can see on your PC, the actual writing does start to occur. I'm going to use my video editing to speed this up for you just a little bit and then show you what it looks like when it reboots. And right here is where you can see it switching to 2.1, shows you where you got it, and then it does tell you that you want to reset your EPROM. I'm going to move that real quick and hit reset, and boom, settings are stored. Let's scroll through the settings quick. If we move down and find our about printer, and then let's check printer info. Bingo. You can see now we have the A10T22 with bug fix 2.1x. Friends, there you have it. Simple steps to update Marlin on your 3D printers for just about any machine. If you can find the configuration file, then you should be able to run through the steps. Of course, friends, I do want to remind you, don't forget my website, hlmodtech.com. It has got the page with the 3D printers, the Visit Marlin, and then also down at the bottom, there is a sweet built-in messaging tool. Click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Finally, friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.